Great. Last two questions, and uh, briefly, Dr. Pauline Baker. Mr. President, welcome. And um, I've been a student of Nigeria for many years, and first of all, I want to tell you that uh, I have never seen such a hopeful attitude toward Nigeria and the United States as since your election. So uh, I think we're all here. I want you to, to succeed. Uh, my question relates to another area of Nigeria that hasn't gotten much attention during this trip, and that is the Niger Delta. Uh, it's a challenge that you're going to face. I wonder if you would tell us how you uh, intend to approach it with particular reference to the amnesty, uh, bunkering, and inclusion, inclusive development. Thank you. Inclusive government. Inclusive government. You know, in, 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 how do you include uh, you know, women, youth? Uh, I see. Uh, yes. Um, I hope you have a copy of the election results. <laughs> um, Nature and constituencies, for example, that here. Uh, uh, gave me 97 percent. Cannot, in all honesty, be treated on some issues with constituencies that gave me five percent. Mm. I think this is a political reality. Um, while certainly there will be justice uh, for everybody, everybody will get his constitutional right. Uh, but uh, while the party uh, in constituencies that by their either sheer hard work, they made sure that uh, they got their people uh, to vote and to ensure their vote count, uh, they must uh, they they must feel that. Uh, the government has appreciated the efforts they put in putting the government in place. I think that's, that's really fair uh, and deliberate. 